It's time to add the shot clock. The answers range from trepidation to all out fear. The times have changed. The national governing bodies letting states give it a try. We've seen in our area in selected events and Dan Vasco has more. When I can see I'm like 30 seconds on the shot clock, but we got time to hold it and then like six seconds I'm like shoot, shoot, shoot. Upstate high school basketball players try out a shot clock and competition for the first time. I think it's good because it kind of keeps the game playing at a fast level, like I said, where people can't just kind of hold it. The new feature on display at Landrum High School's Christmas Tournament after the National Federation of State High School Associations greenlit a 35 second shot clock for the 2022-23 season. We wanted to be one of the first schools to to implement it in this trial basis, so uh, we're just excited about using it. Nine states currently utilize some version of the shot clock, but this new measure would allow any state to adopt the new rule. Guidelines include two clocks attached to the backboards at each end of the court, with a shot clock operator positioned at the scorer's table, controlling a distinctive horn if there's a violation. Well, it adds uh, more coaching strategy. Uh, you got to prepare for it in practice. Um, you need to have a couple of signals as the time runs down, you know, depending on where the ball is on the court. For a school like Landrum to be able to uh, put up the clocks for their tournament and for us to get a sneak peek of how it's going to run and how everything looks, it's exciting. President of the SC Basketball Coaches Association and head coach at Chesney, Andy Pitt, has been a big proponent of the shot clock. Right now, the state can use it during a two-year trial period at Invitational Tournament but Pitt is hopeful the measure will one day go into effect across South Carolina. You're allowing kids to play under the similar system to what they would see at the next level, and it brings another layer of coaching, I think, to, uh, to the game. While many are in favor of the move, the issue of funding remains the core reason behind its resistance. The opposition is going to be the cost. The cost of the school boards and, and getting those in place, the cost to pay someone else to run it. Because a national mandate was not approved, the South Carolina High School League will likely vote after the trial period to determine if the shot clock is here to stay. In Landrum, Dan Vasco, 